What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. I want to give a shout out to uh, the Lapeef Network. That's a really good uh, online podcast. It's called Lapeef Let's Talk. You know, you have Anton Daniels, Lapeef. Uh, Courtney and Michelle over there and um, yeah, they really do a good job they have a really good niche audience uh, which is balanced between both men and women and if, if I've forgotten some of the people's names I do apologize but they get a lot of good views it's very organized it's mature I like what they do especially uh, brother Anton Daniels who I don't have so much of a close relationship with but I like what he does on his channel he's an awesome brother and Courtney I talked to her on whatsapp but they did a video uh, which it talked about the time that I told Kevin Samuels that he was sort of lame, okay? And I've never talked about that in depth, in detail. But Kevin Samuels, who's a, be a much better YouTuber than me, has one million views and understands what he's doing more so. And I'm, I'm, I'm really good at what I do. Uh, in certain aspects, understand the platform better than I am. I want to go back to under understanding black male talent. And one of the things that has made me successful here on the platform is I understand the black experience. I don't just understand the YouTube experience. I understand it for the from the black perspective. I'm an African-American. So when I deal with content, I deal with it from the African-American perspective, which is why guys like Kevin Samuels in 2017 they were attracted to my platform, okay? And so I remember when I first saw him, he came in and he dropped $5 on the Super Chat on my Oshie Vlogcast channel. And I, cause when I see people like that, if they have um, certain names like Image, and I believe it was like Kevin Samuels, uh, Image Consultant, it was something like that. Checked out what he was doing. And when I realized what he was doing, it was something that we weren't talking about, which was Image and Fragrance. So just like that, pocket watching with JT, guys who have very interesting names, that's a good way to get recognized, the lead attorney, because people recognize you when you super chat. So the more unique your name is, people realize who you are. That's some game for you right there. But anyways, I, I gave Kevin Samuels the first interview, we set it up. And immediately I understood that, hey, here's a guy, he speaks very well, he's, you know, no matter what situation is, He's always looking, you know, professional on camera. He's just what the doctor ordered for what we're trying to do, you know. And he's in, 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 in. But the, but the thing about Kevin Samuels was he was different on camera, probably from what he was in real life. Me, I'm the same person. So on camera, I'm the same person that you would see on the street. You know, I just really don't care. I, I, I'm just like that. It's natural. Okay. Kevin Samuels was a little bit more professional uh, on, on camera and probably more rough off camera. And what that, what that kind of did, it, it, it kind of seemed like what he was trying to do when he first came on YouTube, he was trying to emulate some of the other guys that he wanted to be like, instead of trying to be who he was. So one day I, we were talking on the phone. We talked quite regularly. We always have. Kevin will tell you some of the best curse outs and yellings he would ever got on YouTube was for me, a guy who was 12 years younger than him. I used to cuss Kevin out a lot. Like he'll tell you, it was been, it's been rough. You know what I mean? It's at least three or four times I've called Kevin and called him every name in the book. He'll tell you, ask him. But one time I was saying, brother, listen, you got something that is really good. But the thing about it is that Remember who you're dealing with. You're not, you're dealing with the black manosphere. And what you're trying to deal with is the broad audience. But if you want to deal with the black audience, you're going to have to talk to who you're dealing with. So for your main concept of being an image guy, it's fine. But if you want to deal with black folks, we don't receive it the same way as you do everybody else. So you're really going to have to come and give the black experience to us. In other words, you're going to need to be relatable because your main image overall is lame for who you're trying to reach. Now he would get on live streams with Obsidian and he'll really cut up. He'll come on the Sunday Rumble and he'll really cut up, but then he'll go on his main channel and be like, hello, this is Kevin Samuels, the image guy. Today we're smelling Gucci cologne, you know, something like that. So 
Kevin didn't take it offensively though. Okay, and then what he did was he transformed by trying different things, it didn't work, trying different things, it didn't work, until now Kevin has, this is probably who Kevin really is in real life, on camera. Where he don't care, he's very selective, uh, he can be moody, right? But that's Kevin. Nobody does Kevin Simmons better than him. And do you know what? Look where he is today. Why he didn't take it offensively, but partly I'm gonna tell you why he didn't take it offensively. Because I understood that black men also have to be respectful when, respectful when we talk, get talked to. And that's one of the things we wanna need how, learn how to do. We need to learn how to build our brothers up. When you're trying to give a brother some advice, you can talk to folk in a way where they understand what you're trying to do without hurting their feelings. So I was like, oh man, you trash, whatever. That's like, Kevin not gonna respond to that. I said, brother, listen, you got something going on here. You just need to, what you need to do is tie into who you're trying to reach. And I'm gonna do a Patreon video on that because it's a difference between reaching a YouTube audience and reaching the black audience. Cause the black audience, it grows slower. It can grow slower, but it's more predictable. And when you're making content for the black audience, okay, you, you, you can't approach it the same way as you do for the white audience or the global YouTube audience. When you're niche specific making African-American content it's certain things, it's certain attributes that African-Americans or blacks are gonna respond to better. That's gonna make you stand out differently than if you're trying to play it safe on YouTube in general. And Kevin Samuel's understanding of that is why he is where he is today. And that's not getting offended. From a guy who was 12 years younger than him, from a guy who was doing better than him in the business at the time, he didn't take it that way. But see, this is how as black men we can grow. When people tell me things to do, like Alpha Male Strategies gave me some advice. He think I ain't gonna do it, but I'm still working on it. I know he's telling the truth. Right? And it's implementing it. Whatever Alpha Male ain't gonna tell you what he told me. But what he told me was, some of which I've already done on my fidelity account. But I know when a, somebody's telling you something to improve yourself, you ought to be putting in the works to get it done. And the things that Alpha Male Strategy sh shout out to him, I'm not gonna tell you what he told me, cause it ain't for everybody to know. But was he right? Yes. And I've seen Kevin Samuels transform from where he was in 2017, I think media tutorials and reviews did it, to where he is now. And it's all about accepting criticism from somebody you know that care about you and care about what you're trying to be. And then also, when you're trying to deal with black men, Deal with black men as if you love them. Everything ain't about tough love, you know? Cause some of you guys are really concerned. Oh, tough love. No, no, listen, brother, this is what we need to do. We should go about it such and such way. Right? A lot of black men can appreciate this because we gotta understand our people. Our people, you know, our men can, you know, we're, you know, African American men are a little bit volatile. And they can be touchy with their feelings, you know? And we don't want to turn people off, but we can tell people things that we see that they're doing is to make changes. I remember the great boxing trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, he said, you know, I don't try to take away what a boxer does well. I try to leave what he does well and add to it. And if we can do that as black men, learn how to effectively communicate, that's how you win friends and maintain friends over a long period of time. Kevin Simmons is my friend in the business. It's things he'll share with me he don't share with nobody else. And vice versa. Because why? The reason is, is because as black men, we can appreciate each other. Look at the network that we have built now, based off of just that. And when you have the right people in your corner in the right situation, look at what you can do. Don't believe me, look at him. More money than he can spend, more opportunities than he can gather, because why? He also put in the work and he kept trying, didn't give up. And if guys would just keep trying when you're right there on the door, he was right there at the door at the time. He didn't, and I had no idea, and he had no idea he would be as big as he is. But look at look at the persistent effort of where he is today. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first country to the top. Check out the Black Men Curve t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Oh, check out the Black Man Perfect t-shirt.